Hey YouTube, this is the other guy coming to you tonight. Uh, listen, I have a project that I just built and I love it. Uh, this thing is not a steamer, okay? This thing is placed into my aquarium, as you can see here. And it's pretty cloudy and there's a reason why. And the reason is because this thing is working. Um, this is a algae sterilizer. Uh, it also kills bacteria, uh, any germs that's inside the tank. And it works by the process of electrolysis. As you can see the plates in here. Um, it's pretty cool. I never thought I could, I, I could build something like this. And so I thought I'd show you uh, my little doohickey that I built. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'd like to show you how, how I built it, and so if you're interested in how to build this little doohickey here, uh, follow along with me, uh, like and subscribe, that way you can follow me on YouTube uh, whenever I build something. So you can see, uh, it's pretty efficient, basically. Hey guys, so this is the other guy coming to you tonight. Um, I have a project that I'm doing tonight. Um, basically, I'm going to build myself a algae sterilizer. Um, it's going to be for my few, uh, fish tank. And I've been doing a lot of research on the internet. So I came upon this little electrolysis sterilizer where you pass electrical current through it and it sterilizes the water as well as it sterilizes algae, bacteria, virus and all the good stuff. So um, I'm going to copy them however I'm going to supersize my sterilizer and what I meant by supersize is I'm going to go this size. Okay, usually the uh, Usually the sterilizer that they sell on eBay is tiny. It's about that big around. And it's tiny. However, I'm gonna go for the mother load. So, um, basically what you need is you need a six volt battery. That's what they call it. Uh, and along with some random wires, uh, electrical wires. Uh, and some wire mesh like this, which I cut from this. I bought it from the uh, 99 cent store. It's 99 cents, so I bought two of this. I cut it into this piece right here. So um, how I got that is, you see this thing right here? It has a groove in the middle. So I have a strainer here and Basically, it fits right in really nicely in that groove. So what I did was I ended up cutting this apart and then using the wire mesh here, I traced this onto here, that wire mesh. And that's how I get this thing. So now I can put this thing inside like that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to build, I'm going to make another one of this from here. And so th these are the materials that you need. You need this, okay, you need this, and you need a black Sharpie pin, okay. You also need this to make sure that uh, it's not shorted when you install it, okay. And then you need a hot glue gun. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use glue sticks and a lighter. Okay, and you also need a chop chop uh, a wire cutter. Up on top of that, you need a wire snipper, a, a tin tin snipper. Okay, um, you also need a drill. Okay, with some drill bits because we're gonna build this thing. Okay. So let's begin, okay? So oh, on top of that, all right, you're gonna need these little suction cup where it's gonna suck onto the um, 
uh, fish tank, okay, the glass. So that's what you need. Um, so let's begin. Now I'm gonna do this. Let's begin by cutting this, all right, and shaping that. So out comes my handy dandy tin snipper. Okay. So I'm gonna snip like this. Okay. So once you have officially cut your little thingy out like that, okay, what you're gonna need to do is use a pad or in this case I'm using my little chopping board um, and then I'd like this to be as flat as possible okay so I'm rebending this okay normally if you can find a strainer that is just that is about that is this size that's just flat it'll do you better but I went to Home Depot, I went to the local hardware stores, Orchard, went to Walmart, Smart and Final. The only thing that they have was a conical. So I didn't want that. I want a flat one, so I'm, I'm going to have to make my own. So basically, you use this right here. Okay. That's a piece of paper. Here. Trace it like so. Okay, so you see that? We are going to cut inside that little circle there. Okay, with your tin snipper, you start cutting. Okay, ta-da, okie dokie. So now, basically this goes in here. I'm mocking this up, right? Okay, this goes in there like that. See how nicely it is, see that? So we're gonna be mocking it up like that, okay? So, now that we have two of these mesh, and I, if I could find it, Now that we have two of these mesh, okay, we are going to be uh, doing this. You take your random um, thing here, cut that, all right, snip that. Okay, split this open. Okay, so as you can see. This little bad boy here. Okay, see this right here? There's this little groove here where you uh, stick your uh, mesh in, right? But anyway, I pre-drilled these holes right here. Where, I don't know if you can see this, the the hole here, okay, the hole is right here that goes on, you know, it, it goes on right above the groove here. Okay, this hole goes here, and then this hole right here goes right under this groove here, okay? So that's what I'm doing. So this is, now this is what you have to do. Okay. If you can see, I'm gonna insert one end here into here. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna tie a loop here, okay. All right, so then basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to strip this wire here. Okay, so that is stripped. So now what I have to do here is I'm going to have to find, so like insert this here, see that, that wire here in there, and then sort of like you can bend it back. Okay. 
in like so okay you see that that's what I'm doing okay so bend it bend it back like that okay and then try to squeeze it so that it's as flat as possible and here is when you need glue sticks okay so what I'm gonna do fire this up melt my glue stick Now I've never done this before, okay? I've never done this before, so I don't know if, if it's gonna work. All, I, uh, all I've seen is that it's worked on the internet. So, we'll see. Don't you just love glue stick? It just goes in and stays there. And so um, that stays there. And then what I'm going to do now is glue this part. And we're good. Okay, so that's good there. And then we are going to put this in okay so it's in it is pretty flat guys okay so now that it's flat this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue here okay just crisscross here Okay. Okay. So now it's hot glued here. Okay. The reason why you want to put a knot here is so that you cannot pull this thing out. Okay, so that's that. So then we're going to snip this a little bit. Okay. Snip, snip. Take out your handy dandy little thingy. So this side is harder. The reason is because if we mess up, it's gonna be harder for us to pull it out. So let's measure against this because this thing drops in really nicely. Make sure this thing is clean. So let's test this again. Okay. Yep, drops in very nicely. Okay, right. so we sort of like to find the center here, okay? 
any random center point. Okay, so it's done guys. So, okay, so we gotta figure this out. How are we going to mount this? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am planning to mount it this way, get okay, onto the tank, and then with the rest of the wire out. So, basically, Okay, that's out. Okay, so you'll notice this here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of my big kahuna here and I'm gonna drill a hole in here like that. And I'll show you what I'll be doing. here this thing will go in like that okay Let's see okay it sticks okay okay so this thing sticks like that right but I'm gonna make another one This thing, these things right here is bought at your local hardware store. Okay, so remember this thing? Remember this? I built this for the purpose of sticking into here. So let's put this thing in. Oh, uh oh. Get it now. Okay, so this thing goes in like this. Okay, let's go down a little bit here. Don't know if you can see that. Yep, you can. So we need a uh, six volt battery from a six volt flashlight here okay so then remember the part that I cut here well this is what we're gonna do we are hooking it up like so There you go. Okay, you see bubble coming out? It's electrifying. Okay, you can see bubble coming out. Okay. So, 
that's coming out and it's awesome. You see that? Okay, so supposedly, according to my research, the bubble that is coming out is both nit uh, hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, there's an electric field uh, effect going on between the two wire mesh. In doing so, the bubble sucks up water, and in return, the water that gets sucked up, okay, that water contains algae and bacteria and viruses. So basically, that water that comes up is being sterilized, okay, by the electrical field. See another view. There and there's a shrimp there. Ha <laughs> ha! He's high. He's happy. Okay. There's Mr. Shrimp there. And six volt battery traveling, passing current here into there. So the trick here, the trick here now is to find a six volt. Um, a six volt adapter and uh, adapt it to the system here and make it work okay guys so I finally did it as you can see this thing is smoking I figured out a way to replace the six volt battery okay as you can see here it's smoking like an oven and uh, here's the thing I went to my uh, old electrical adapter box and basically I uh, got some adapters and I'll show you what happens. Okay. So, yeah, okay. This is what happened. So, I have this one right here. This is a, I don't know, Paul Trance? I don't know. But it says 12 volt, 1 amp. I tried uh, this, or uh, 1 amp. Um, basically, I discovered that the 6 volt battery has more amperage than this thing right here. So, 1 amp wasn't going to cut it to me, for me. So then, what happened was, I used my trickle charger. Okay, my trickle charger here. Okay, so my trickle charger... Well, it's a milliamp, 500 milliamp, so that is less than 101 amp, so that was not, I, and well, this thing worked, but it barely let out any smoke or any bubbles, so I figured this thing's not going to work, so I looked some more, I looked and looked and looked, and I'll show you here, I found this bad boy right here okay this bad boy I don't know if you can re read it but it's 12 volt okay and it push out 3 amps so I tried it hooked it up and voila it was working like a 6 volt battery by the way uh, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to set this up it is on a timer as you can see there that's my timer and I've set it to come on uh, one hour a day uh, and just uh, let it cycle okay well you know what I'm gonna make it come on two hours a day so that I get a complete circulation of uh, the water here uh, let me know what you think if I should stay one hour or two hours or three okay so it's on a um, timer and it'll come on when it's destined to come. So let me know what your, uh, your thoughts are guys.